Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you guys on how to easily cut out images and like make the uh, background transparent or PNG. So um, this app, um, I'm not sponsored by them. It's just an app I found inside the App Store. It's called Pixel Cut. You download it for free, but you do need a pro to do many features. But um, I'm just going to show you the app and you can decide if you want to buy or not. So this app, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's pretty amazing. And just, I've never seen an app that makes cutting out the background so much easier. So even like with Pixel Mag, which I use on a daily basis, I love it. It's, it's pretty good, but I just have to like manually do it myself. I cut out the background, but this just does automatically for you. So I think it's uh you know definitely really cool. Um, so if you guys go over here, um, you all you only start with three backgrounds, and you guess you can buy uh, more of them. But if you want unlimited cutouts and more, if you go over here, you see this is the pro. So it's fifty nine ninety nine per year or nine 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 per month. Uh, nine 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 a year comes out to be a three day trial included with it's only four ninety nine a month. So you're gonna pay a deal obviously. If you do the fifty nine ninety nine per year, but if you only want it for a month, then you might as well go over to nine 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 a month. So with this, you get instant background removal, hundred plus templates for inspiration, hundred plus font, two million stock photos from Unsplash. So the big thing I'm focused on in this is basically the instant background removal. But the only thing that I really don't like is that you do get a watermark um, if you don't have the pro version, which I really don't like. So you see right here, uh, watermark. You need to upgrade to Pixel uh, Cut Pro to remove the watermark. Thank you for your support and brings you here. So that's unfortunate. That's one thing I really don't like is that the um, the, the watermark, it's, it sucks. But um, technically, we could cut that out using like a different app like to remove that from the photo. That's just more work. So, um, But you still technically could find a solution to that as well. Um, so basically, I guess you just app. That's also what I like is that there's profile pictures. You can easily create a profile picture, which is uh, really cool. Um, if you scroll down, um, you can go to um, also custom you need for do a custom size. You guys do need the pro version, and you also have all these other uh, formats. But I'm just gonna use uh, the stand, the square one, or you can use a uh, landscape. I guess it's for like YouTube videos or thumbnails. But I'm just gonna do a square one, and then you see that little watermark right there, which I really, I really hate that watermark. Oh, man. Okay, so we want to add this happen here. You guys can, if you have a transparent photo. You could do that as the background, but there's an easier way. So we have to go to image, and then we can go to uh, my photos, and you see these are the pictures I took. I'm using those two for the uh, the thumbnail, but this one right here is when I took. It's a regular, oh, not this one, my bad. This one right here is when I took. So this is just a regular picture. This is the me, you know, with the ceiling or whatever. So all we do is literally go to left to right. All we do. Takes about a couple seconds. We're done. Tap on the check mark, and there you go. That's literally, we're literally done. Like, that's literally how easy it is. So, technically, I could, uh, you can't cover it up. <laughs> so, you can size it the way you want it. I want it just like that. Right? And in the middle, you also could add an outline. So, thickness, um, smoothness. Okay? And we also could add, uh, let's go back to it. Oops. Okay, there we go. Crop it, reflection. But I think the outline is pretty cool. And then we actually go to the arrow point up. Tap on save. Not now. And what's going to say save to a camera roll. Tap. Here we go. So now it's saving our camera roll just like that. It's a transparent image. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.